hello guys welcome you to another one in this video we are comparing two teachings of prophet lovey elias and prophet passion jabba where they were talking about uh, how they were teaching on how to see an angel or what will make an angel come down to attend to you so let's go straight to this video as we listen to this amazing teaching so let's start with prophet lovey elias on how to see angels so i got asked a very important and beautiful question um, I had a post um, a few, maybe 30 minutes ago, and the post um, was about Reveal Tonight, and, you know, somebody asked a very important question. They asked, um, Prophet, can you teach, and this was on Facebook, I think the question was, uh, Prophet, can you teach how you hear God? Uh, how you, you, you speak about an angel speaking to you? And you also say the Lord spoke to you. Can you describe to us how that sounds like and and what does that look like? Well, let me start by saying this. There are several ways that I hear God. The first one is the Holy Spirit. The voice of the Holy Spirit is very subtle. But when you have heard it, you know it. It's very still. He's very, very gentle. But when the Spirit of God speaks, there is a way He speaks. There is a tone that He carries. And when I mean tone, I mean character. It's not in the realm of sound like we hear in the realm of men. But there is definitely a voice. And this voice comes with strong conviction. The conviction is so strong that, um, man, I don't even know. It's like if he tells you, jump from this mountain, you will fly. Then you will be convinced. But it's so still. But the voice carries too much power. And this voice, it always feels like it's in your heart. I don't know how to explain it, but you hear it, but it's like in your heart. Number two, the angel of the Lord, his voice is an audible voice. It's like a person speaking to you. I remember the first day, well, the first time I heard him speak, I was in a, maybe it was 2013, 2014. Um, I had never ministered, this is when I was, I think it was 2013. I was, uh, prophesying to a certain lady I was about to pray for her and I prayed for her but I was not really able to hear the Holy Spirit properly because I was so like I was overwhelmed by how many people were in the living room you know and it was so hot and um, when I was walking away from her <coughs> excuse me I knew that I didn't finish what God wanted me to do, but I didn't know what to do. When I was about to walk away, I heard a man's voice <laughs> right behind me. And he said, pray for Louise. She came for Louise. Louise is sick. Pray for Louise. Man, every hair on my body stood. You know, every fiber of my being shook. I turned around to see who spoke. <laughs> there was nobody. I didn't see anyone. So I panicked. But <laughs> when that happened, I turned around, Rabba, shut up, blah, 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 so that nobody knows that I, that I feared, but I got really afraid. And then when I looked again, I saw him. Beautiful, beautiful man about 12, 14 feet tall. He's really, really tall. It's like his height changes based on where we are. But he's mighty, mighty, mighty. So, so big. And this is the angel I met when I was six with the Lord Jesus. When the Lord Jesus appeared to me, he came with the Lord Jesus. And um, he's so, he's so, and it's like his attitude also changed. When I was young, he, he was more, 
he, he also dealt with me in that way. The, old, the more mature I got, the more he dealt with me like I was a grown person. It's interesting. <clears throat> sweet, 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 sweet angel. I, I, I pray that you have those encounters. It's so amazing. They look like men, but they are not men, you know? Very, very tall, full of light. He's so full, full of light. I can describe how he looks, but I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I can tell you from how his hair look, how it looks, how his face <clears throat> looks like. It's very, very amazing. Many times he's appeared to me like a human being too, but like in the flesh. Especially the times that I've been down, that has happened. But <clears throat> it was the first time I heard him audibly in a meeting. Man, I, I, I got scared. But there are also other ways that he speaks. Sometimes I will hear his voice. Um, sometimes he will move to a person that I should minister to. And then when I get to them, the Holy Spirit will speak to me. And sometimes he'll be the one that speaks to me. Sometimes he will come to me and he will touch my hand. And I'll, it's like, I will, it will be like watching TV. That's why sometimes I say, um, uh, the angel of the Lord came to me and I saw visions of God because one of the languages of the spirit is the realm of visions. Remember when Ezekiel saw the angels, he saw visions. Daniel, when he was on his bed, he saw visions. <clears throat> God also gives visions, but it's like visions is one of the languages of the spirit. So that's a very, very powerful one. That's why I'm very detailed. You know, I'm, I am extremely, extremely detailed when I am ministering prophetically. I am extremely, extremely detailed because I watch it. I see it. I, it's, I'm looking at it. So when I come out of the vision to you, it may seem like, a second passed but for me I feel like I've been watching something for five ten minutes but I am so used to now being there and being here that it, I can perceive the time difference that it's not as much as um, it appears and then there are many other ways but these ones are the primary primary ways that I hear from God I see visions I hear the audible voice and I hear the whispers of the Holy Spirit. These ones are, um, are the primary, primary ways. Another way also that God speaks is he, he takes over your thinking. Like, <clears throat> which is very interesting, right? I will be like looking at somebody and I remember a childhood friend. But that memory, it's, I wasn't like, they're not even related. But when that happens, I know that God has spoken. So I pay attention. Remember like the lady I, I, I prophesied to in church. I think it was a um, prophetess Terence meeting. Um, the angel of the Lord showed me a vision of a woman that had dreadlocks. And she was a black woman. But when I saw the, the vision, I asked, who is she? And all of a sudden, I, I remember Dalen. And when I saw Dalen, I was like, huh? And then I realized that he emphasized the name more. <laughs> then I knew that this woman, being a woman, she can't be called Dalen. It has to be more. So I asked, I said, I, I put the mic on Apostle. I said, Apostle, uh, remember uh, drama Dalen? He said, yeah. What was his last name? Mo. The woman shouted, my name is, my last name is Moore. So sometimes it will happen like that because it's like, this is what the Bible says, make your thoughts subject. You know, make, make, make your thoughts, renew your mind and bring every thought and make it captive. Anything that exalts itself above God, it's, it's not of God, you know, because God also uses your mind. That's why sometimes you just think of somebody and then the phone rings because there's something that God was telling you, you didn't perceive it before they called. God is always speaking to us, but these are some of the ways that I hear from God, but there are so many I, I haven't spoken about. 
<clears throat> when I'm praying or when I'm meditating or when I'm um, um, when I'm sleeping also how to dream dreams there are so many ways and sometimes I just fall asleep and he comes and the Lord gives me instructions so there are so many ways that that God speaks but they can be taught the magnitude may not be the same as uh, um, as me or as, as Elijah as Moses you know it may not be like that but you will still hear him because there is still channels in which God has ordained there are ways God has ordained for us to still perceive him so we being spiritual beings that live in a body you have to remember that God is spirit so we can still perceive God in in, in one way or another it's possible it's possible to hear from God to be directed by the Holy Spirit but to hear the audible voice of God is not for it's not for everyone seeing angels it's not for everyone um, walking in constant open visions and closed visions is not for everyone i'll be alive i tell you that uh, it's for everyone no it's not because then that defeats the purpose of god having a prophet or a prophetess for that matter so if you ever see somebody saying prophet 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 but they can't prophesy just know that they are so prophetic but they want to be prophets <laughs> you get what i'm saying because you can't be a prophet and not be able to prophesy. Declaration is not prophecy. I'll say that one more time. Declaration is not prophecy. Because everyone can make prophetic decrees. That's not what a prophet does. Even though a prophet does that too. But it's not what the prophetic is saying good words no a prophet hears from god and relates relays it a prophet can foretell can forth tell what is foretelling god has told you what is coming forth telling is the ability to shift what will happen like elisha he said by this time today by this time today the flour will be at this price this oil will be at this price and the king doubted because they were under siege but notice what he declared was not because God said. By his word, the lepers were given strength to go to the enemy's camp. And when they were going there, their footsteps sounded like chariots of many armies that the enemy ran. And the children of his, everything Elisha said came to pass. So, God speaks to a prophet and a prophet can set the tone for which God must move. When Moses was before the Red Sea, he told the children of Israel while they are complaining, uh, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more, for the Lord shall deliver you by a mighty hand. But God never said anything. The next verse you see Moses praying, Lord, what do I do? God is like, stop praying. Why are you praying? Stretch your hand, you know, part the sea and command the people to walk through it. Do, do you get what I'm saying? So notice God took the cue from Moses and God covered them in the sea. So there are certain things like the Bible says, no word of Samuel ever fell to the ground, meaning that many times Samuel spoke God just backed up what he said. So that was Prophet Lovey earlier submission on how to see angels or hear from God. So let's go straight and listen to that of Prophet Passion Jabba. How you can hear from this, how you can see an angel. Please subscribe. And the Bible says, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will always be there. People should always understand that the power of giving connects you to the spiritual realm. Mm. Cornelius gave. Mm. <laughs> but there are two things that brings down an angel. Mm. Prayer and giving. Mm. The Bible says, Cornelius gave and he prayed. And the angel said, because of your prayer and your giving, I have come down. 
it was an offering and a prayer that brought the angel down. So many people that are here free. should know, if I have a $3 seed, what is $3? It's or $33 or 333 David says, I cannot give what cannot cost me. I was thinking, Bishop, let's get into types of angels. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of angels, yeah. but we can touch as many as we can touch today. Mm. But I feel like you just said in pasting, and then there are some people who want to tap into this dimension of angels, because you are saying something powerful that prayer alone cannot release the dimension of angels. Cornelius, your prayers and your offering is come as a memorial mm -hmm. before God. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there are people watching right now that want to tap in this dimension mm -hmm. of angels. That mm -hmm. if you have a seed of B three dollars, three dollars, three hundred and thirty-three. If you're watching and if you're really serious, but there's a shocking chapter in Revelation seven and eight. Mm. It begins by saying, "And the angel came down mm. for the reason of mixing the prayers and the offerings." <laughs> and when the prayers and the offerings were mixed together, they went up before God like an uh, uh, incense. Incense, yeah. So people should know the combination of prayer and an offering. Mm. But what then are we talking about when we share about the word offering? We pray which is in words. Mm. We want God to do for us in words. Mm. But to seal it, we need a covenant with God. Right? We need a covenant with God. Now, a ring, mm. offer a ring, mm. oh. that's offering. Ring is a symbol of a covenant until death do us apart, mm. it's a covenant. So automatically when we talk about offer a ring, offering, we are saying offer a covenant with God. So it's not just words, but there is a symbol. There is a $33 you're connecting with. There is a $333. Mm. There is a $3. There is something you're connecting with. And as you are doing it, thank you, Holy Spirit. God just draw something in me. So as you do that in the realms of the Spirit, you are making a covenant. I want to see your angel today. Mm. I want to see your angel. And see, Abraham was visited by three angels. Mm. It was mainly one angel visiting Mary, one angel visiting this one, one angel. But when you see angels going up, I believe the Bible tells about three angels that manifested. Mm. So it's the, they operate in the third dimension, which is so important and so powerful. And while you're saying that, it's, you can see on the story of Jacob that angels were doing two activities. Yes. They were ascending and descending. and descending. They were ascending before they were descending. So that means for them, for something to descend, something is to ascend. ascend. That means nothing comes down unless something, unless goes, something up. goes up. So many people have been praying to see angels for 10 years, <laughs> but they have never seen angels. Because so an ingredient is lacking. In because they, their prayers can't be mixed. With an offering, it's like in Mazowe orange crush. Mm. That's African drink. Uh, Boss Lashan, if uh, Boate can bring us orange crush, that would be good. <laughs> now, orange crush is a juice that you cannot drink unless you mix. Unless you mix it with something, mm. you have to take water and dilute so that it's able to be. So those prayers yet to be mixed, diluted mm. together with the offering for them to go up before God. So it's of a paramount importance that everybody who can should be able to stand in that place mm. and be able to do so. Amen. 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 Uh, what type of angels can we break down today? Um, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've been blessed. I hope you've learned something new. So when you do the secret, it will help you to see angels or interact with the angelic being. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the notification button.